Babes, it's finally time. I finally can do this. I waited so long. Oh. You guys know I have tried to dye my hair with the most insane things, <laughs> like stupid stuff, <laughs> but a lot of it has worked. We have tried blueberries, beetroots, um, turmeric. What else have we tried? Have we tried coffee? If not, we should try coffee. But I think that I have topped all of it because <laughs> as you guys can see from the title, we are going to do a little hair dyeing video and see if it works with some red wine. <laughs> um, I mean, I've seen that you can do uh, dyes with red wine for fabric. So I said to myself, what is the difference with fabric and my hair? Probably nothing because my hair is so damaged. So I think it can work actually. This is probably my favorite kind of videos that I have ever done. I think it is so much fun. I've gotten so many weird comments from these videos. A lot of people think that I'm doing this to actually get a good result. And that is not really... Oh shit. I've taped my backdrop so... <laughs> If it falls apart on me, that's why. <laughs> I just really want to see if it works. And you guys know that my hair is not really my biggest priority in life. I don't know why it is for anyone, but like my hair can do pretty much everything. It can deal with anything pretty much. So this is how my hair looks right now. As you guys can see, I am in need of a root touch up. So I actually waited to do my roots because if this works out horribly, <laughs> hopefully I can just bleach it and it goes away. My hair is kind of gross right now, so please do not judge <laughs> because uh, just please don't judge anything that I do or honestly judge away. <laughs> I should be judged for doing this. I've gotten this amazingly vegan wine. I asked the guy in the vine, wine, <laughs> the alcohol store that we have, because in Sweden we cannot buy alcohol everywhere. It's just one store that sells it and it's not open on Sundays. I know, horrible, but it's actually working for our favor here in Sweden. So yeah, <laughs> I asked the guy working there, what is the cheapest vegan wine that you guys have? and they gave me this. As you guys can see right here, it says that it is vegan and I have already tried this, <laughs> as you guys can see. It's not the best wine. Wine? Wine. What is the difference between wine and wine? It sounds the same, right? Or am I pronouncing it wrong? I always do. It's not the worst wine. Although it's cold right now, which is not the best. Ooh. Oh my God, shiver. <laughs> okay, it's not that good. We are gonna use it for a hair, so no worries. It does not have to be super tasty. So to start this madness, I am gonna go into my kitchen and I'm going to cook the wine. We do not need alcohol. It's not to remove the alcohol, but we're gonna cook it. And then I'm gonna add some regular flour to make the mixture a little bit harder or more textured, I don't know, you guys will understand what I mean. And then I am going to apply some conditioner. I'm just gonna use any and I'm gonna mix it and we will see how that goes. This is how it looks. It is like a gel. It's very thick, as you guys can see, and very jelly. It's not very liquidy and it smells like red wine. <laughs> I have not put any conditioner in this and I actually don't think that I will. I don't think I need to. So I've changed my shirt. I've brushed my hair and now I'm ready to dye my hair with some red wine. Oh my God. I mean, this is just like, this is glue. That's what it is, it's glue. So weird. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on. 
oh my god and it's still warm <laughs> it's not burning hot obviously but it is warm this is so weird i will have to be kind of careful so it doesn't go everywhere oh i don't want to touch it um okay uh fuck Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's take a piece of hair. I hope this doesn't like damage my hair. It can't, right? I don't think it will. And dye this side. I mean, it's a nice shade if this is what would actually turn out, which I don't think it will, but I'm thinking it will be a pale uh, lilac -y pink, I think could actually work. I've never seen anyone do this, maybe because it doesn't work, <laughs> but then you guys will know. Oh my god, no. <sighs> During this self-isolation, I feel like this is pure magic for my health <laughs> to dye my hair i mean nothing makes me more calm and happy than to dye my hair i just love it and i'm sure that a lot of you guys can relate how many of you guys during this pandemic has dyed your hair at home <laughs> let me know in the comments or in this poll right here Okay, like that, I'm just going to uh, finish off. Finish off? Ugh. And I'm gonna put on a podcast, if I can, with my gross hands. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. I am done. Honestly, this is the weirdest consistency. And I'm kind of scared that I won't be able to get this out of my hair. I mean, it has to <laughs> someday. This is also a great look. But this is what I normally do when I dye my hair and it works really nice. I am gonna have this on for as many hours as I can. It is already dinner time, so we might see each other tomorrow when I've washed it out and slept. Wish me luck. I really hope it will look good. So, can you dye your hair with red wine? The answer is... I don't think so. No. <laughs> I am so sad that this didn't work um at least i don't think so like maybe i should do a comparison to uh, what i filmed yesterday but i don't think anything has changed maybe that it's a little bit more cool maybe a little bit more purple but i think honestly nothing has changed which i'm so upset about i feel like i want to dye my hair right now because I really wanted to change. I actually thought that this would work. Like, if you spill it on your clothes or anywhere, it will stain. So I was like, why shouldn't it stain my hair? And my hair is pretty much just like a sponge. My hair is a sponge, but apparently not. Or maybe, I don't know, you tell me. I know that one of you guys, like a year ago or something, requested for me to try out this blue powder i think it was like a mexican powder that you use in food i'm not really sure i cannot find it anywhere anymore if you know what i'm talking about please let me know or if you have any other um recommendations of what i can try to dye my hair with because i think this is like the funniest thing ever <laughs> okay so that is it if you want to see when i dyed my hair with turmeric push this button or this little video thingy beetroots we have blueberries and do i have anything else not really sure <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you will subscribe and like this video if you did and i hope that we will see each other in the next video
guys.